good. Since we don't know about it. No. How did I get the door? Okay. It's so heavy. Wait, hit my keys. This coffee always burns the shit out of me. Let and I are in my favorite city, and she did that kind of for me, but also because it wasn't too far from where we were in Pittsburgh. Van is ripped apart, and Brian's fixing our DC to DC charger. It's hot. And it's hot, upwards of like Actually, 80 degrees. This isn't fun, so we won't show you too much of it, but we think we fixed the issue. We were waiting for a couple parts to come in, and it's been a while. If my calculations are correct, when I hook these two wires up, this should work, and we should no longer have to pay for spots to charge which is big. I mean, only that's- Only when we want to, right? Only when we want to, which we do like to, but not having to do that saves us a lot of money. I know this part of our life is boring, but it's very real. Because we built our van, we're able to troubleshoot ourselves, and this has cost us like 12 bucks to fix this. If we took it to a shop, it'd be hundreds, if not thousands of dollars to work on our electrical system. So that's one positive, something I'm grateful. I'm very confident it's gonna work. But, you know, you never know what's gonna go wrong. So I'm just double checking everything, making sure it's safe. Let's move this out. Turn this on. And I gotta turn the van on. You ready? You think it'll work? Yeah. Yeah? <laughs> if something blows up, sorry, babe. It works? Let's go, wait. Yay. It's charging, so 54 amps, that's how much it's charging right now, which is amazing. We got it. Good job, babe. Let's go. Oh that took God, forever. What was teamwork, good. though? Hang out, I need the giant wires. Good that's a big weight off our shoulders here. It means we can park anywhere tonight without having to worry. So maybe we'll park by the White House. That's our goal. Officially in my favorite city. We're trying to find parking. It's pretty busy here right now. We're gonna hang out here a little bit and cool down. It's pretty hot in DC this week for the next couple weeks. It's supposed to rain. I'm actually hoping for that. But we're right on the water um, and we're right across from Roosevelt Island. Every time I would come to DC, I was working, whether I was a federal consultant on a national child welfare alliance. And then also I did public speaking at the Eisenhower building, which is part of the White House and to Congress spoke about child welfare reform. And this was in a past life when I wore a different hat. I worked at a nonprofit for a while, very different life for me. And I, I loved doing it. But at some point you let go of the past and you start building the life that you want. And for me, it's kind of a more simple minimalist lifestyle where I still want to help inspire others and promote positivity but ultimately I want to live a life that is fulfilling for me that's a simple life with travel learning through experience and new places and you know doing what I can to impact the world with our little videos and I want to be there for Nicolette sometimes in life the biggest impact you can make is be there for the people that you love that's where it all starts beautiful but 90 degree day and Brian and I are at the Theodore Roosevelt Island and we're just on the bridge for the river and it's quite beautiful here it is beautiful and it's been so hot so this breeze is so welcome the breeze is perfect I know there's a lot of planes right look at them 
they, they look a lot closer. I know. Well, I don't know how accessible this is going to be. So far, it doesn't seem too bad. It's pretty compacted sand and gravel, but we don't know if we'll be able to actually experience the full island. Oh, the memorial's right up here, so I guess we will go to it. If we go there, up, left, we're there. We have this whole island to ourselves and that's really cool so <sighs> it's so hot today living in a van during a heat wave is not fun since we can't afford you know air conditioner or the battery to power one so we have to live with fans and just other ways of staying cool which is one of them is hanging out in this forest so yeah so today we're just checking out before we go into the city the nature aspect of dc which is theodore roosevelt island and a lot of planes right next to the airport. One part of DC is that there's so many little spots within the city where you can get lost. Where I'm at right now, it's kind of cool. Nicolette wanted to stay back in the shade, but this monument is a testament to a larger than life spirit. I'll give you a, an idea of just how big the statue is. Fall back, it's an issue. I know, but good thing I'm a little try user for 15 here. This looks like flat land, like it would just be easy to get up, but it's not. And Especially it's something now when it's this hot, yeah, it's something we have to consider when it's this hot, also when it's not pavement, and when Nicolette has medical issues that require her not to overexert herself. Together, we're a team journey. Thanks for helping me down up and down the hill, babe. You're good, babe. Yeah, it was worth it. It was really nice up there. It's a really gorgeous island. We definitely recommend visiting Checking this island out. if you're in D.C. Especially if you're in a camper van because it's good parking. Yes. It's our favorite parking spot in Washington, D.C. so far, at least mine. A sun shower. I don't know if it's showing it. Probably not. It's very sunny over here. I'm gonna throw you on my side, And it's right? raining over here, which is very welcomed on this hot day. Now it's time for us to find a spot to park our camper van overnight in DC. Not every parking spot allows that. This city's pretty welcoming and open. It would be really cool to wake up at the National Mall and that's the goal. So I guess, you know, if that can happen, I, I would love that. I've never woken up, opened my door and been at the National Mall. I've been close to it, but never just there. So we'll see. Ooh, this is so nice. I, really just I have no idea what the price was. Here. $22? No. Yeah. That's Everything is blocked off tomorrow, so we're trying to figure out the best place for us to go. We are second time ever parking in the city, and this is our first official stealth parking. We are not paying for a spot. We're just gonna act like we aren't in the van. Can we park here? This looks beautiful, whatever this is. You want to come check out the White House? No, I'm going to stay 
stay back for this one. Why, baby? It's right there. Yes. All right. Have well, fun, though. Love you. Be right back. It's a beautiful building. It's really cool to be here for July 4th, but look at that. It's gorgeous. here I think this man is camped out here for a long long time and he just has different messages but ultimately I don't think he moves I think this is where he lives this is his home imagine if that's where he lived spent your time all right I gotta go see if they towed Nicolette I feel I worry about it because when she's in the bed she can't get to the door so if someone knocks she kind of just has to act like she's not there or open up the window and speak through the window so I feel bad leaving her in the van, but she insisted she didn't want to come and I should come check it out because she knows I wanted to, which is fine. You know, you need a little alone time and space when you live in a van. It's our vibe right now. Brian's over there doing the dishes before we go to bed. Last night it felt sketchy. This morning it does not feel sketchy. It kind of feels pretty cool that we slept right in the middle of a city. But let's see what it looks like. I think some people didn't get the memo. And they're blocking off the streets and I mean I don't know if it was red or not, but I'm not dealing with that. Coconut refresher. Ew. Brian hates it. I don't really like those coconut refreshers. I don't know if it's because it's coconut or what, but I wonder if I could just grab our drink here. No, that's rude. No? That's rude. I'm not allowed to. I'm impatient. Nicolette has more patience than me. Mom? So I think the fridge is overpacked, so it's having a hard time keeping it all cold. The fridge is overpacked. Sometimes I forget we have this fridge when I go shopping. Yeah. Nicolette just can't help herself. Today's about a day of relaxing, enjoying life, going to see fireworks. And what is she doing? She gets up for an hour a day. Maybe today a little longer. We'll have to take breaks. She can't help herself. She spends that whole time cleaning. I Don't like you? a clean van. <laughs> it's honestly essential to my mental. It's true. I did the dishes in the middle of the city for the first time, which is kind of cool. I guess we were like three blocks from the White House and maybe a little further, maybe like four blocks. I'm just sitting there doing my dishes. We slept in till like nine. <laughs> we did sleep in really late, but today's a holiday, so there's we no- We to bed till really late because like we were trying to find a spot and you know, it was like a little nerve wracking. And then it rained finally. So it rained beautifully. for a while and that was loud. Twice. So the moment I'm like, all right, baby, I have a really hard time turning off my TV show and going to bed, but I turn it off. It's like a reasonable time. And I go, all right, baby, it's time for me to sleep. And then literally in that, the next second, as my phone turns off, we hear whoop, whoop, and it's police parking right in front of us. Their lights shining in our windows, and it's like, all right, but they weren't there for us, so. They don't make it for her. Ah. Don't waste it. I'm not. This road is closed, so I'm just saying. Mm, all right. Yeah. Right now, we're gonna go find a location we're gonna watch the fireworks at. So there's the entrance to the event, and that's where we're gonna go that way. But Nicolette spotted this. It's times like these where it's hard not to spend 
a thousand or two thousand dollars on a new battery so that way we can power an ac without plugging in and it's also hard not to get a hotel because our budget doesn't really allow it in the first six months of van life we didn't get a hotel once during all her medical issues everything not one hotel in this last month it's been a little hotter we've gotten a hotel a couple times so it's hard not to do that and include that in our budget because we love our van why get a hotel so we got to figure out the heat part all right i'll take that Got some hot dogs going. You got seasoning I should grab. Turn that down a little. Inspection. All right, so Nick Light and I are trying to find a spot, and most people are staying over there, but there's a decent amount of people here, too. Nicolette and I have gotten situated in the spot we think the fireworks are going to come from. We're set up perfectly to be able to watch them over here, and we think right around where the sun's setting is actually where the fireworks are going to go up. All day for this. <laughs> yeah, we've done nothing else but like, oh, we'll see fireworks tonight at 8. So we're almost back. This is how close we were. We've been walking for a couple minutes. Jeez, those lights are, they weren't bright in the daytime. They sure are now. You ready to come in? My darling? city is packed and everyone's leaving now. There's fireworks going off all around town as we're driving out and that's pretty cool. Yeah. 